Philly, here I come. Hey everybody, I'm Crush Bandicoot, and today I decided to do a narrator of me walking doing everything that I did before I leave. So here we are in front of Kamala Harris, which is the person who I'm voting for. And yes, I'm at the Campbell Lane right now, walking down to the bank to deposit my money before I leave to Philly. And yes, here I am crossing the street. Just looking both ways before I cross. And yes, I'm at the bank right now. And that's out of order. And this is out of order for some reason. And I don't want to wait all the way until 9, but they forced me to wait all the way until 9. And the other one was fix or something and I tried it one more time and it worked they just want me to play all of me so not like why so anyway so I did all that stuff and I already placed in my money on my bank account got my card my receipt and headed out to the bus stop to wait for the route 4 that normally runs late so 921 already no bus is showing so right already 923, two minutes late, well actually it's not two minutes late, it's more than that because obviously the bus is normally run late and it wasn't even that busy, that road was not even that busy, right? and yes, here's the bus, a raptor, like maybe, I don't know, 4-ish, yeah, 924, which is like five minutes late, so yeah. I got on the bus, and we all, for five minutes late, I would say, and you did pass through Walmart at 9.33, the bus is supposed to be released at 9.30 from the mall, and I got my ticket to the tra transfer to Route 6, here's the Route 3, and I got on the 6, go all the way to the Iron Way apartment, and once we get to the gas station, yes, we they kick you out when they when they need to go to the bathroom. And then I did make a mistake that I started to get up at the Panico one instead of the Brian one apartment because she doesn't she didn't stop. Instead she just stopped at the Capital Common. So yeah, I should have stopped at the, the shelter one. But anyway, they got my haircut, I already finished my haircut. Time for me to go to Taco Bell. And place my order before I head down to the well, as I was walking down to Taco Bell. Well, unfortunately, that road wasn't even that busy, so I should be fine for that. And yes, I am behind those buildings of the um, vision work where I'm gonna get my glasses. And yes, I'm getting close to Taco Bell with KFC at the Bungie sign. And I have my food, and I had to wait for a while to get for my food. And yes, I did got my. Um, my soft taco from Taco Bell, but not just that, I also got a uh, chicken quesadilla as my combo meal with a large uh, two Baja blend. So that Baja blend, I don't know if it tastes like water, I gotta eat it, it no taste from that. So as I finish my food, I wait for about 6 to come, and they're supposed to be here on the 12th or 4th. And yes, I did miss my time on the food from the bottom of the apartment, but I'll have to wait until 12 before at the tent station while walking out to Taco Bell. And yes, the bus, so I was waiting for the bus, and I did get something from that spot, and I got something from my World Wireless and me. So I got the World Wireless wearable mic, and yes, the bus was for about 4 minutes late. Like, that's going to be the trend to see all So I did get on the bus, on my way to Walmart, request a stop at Walmart so that I can see, get, like, a little food snack, food food snack, on the way to Cincinnati as well. You know, Philly, but I didn't eat the whole thing because I was going to get something from the cafe. And here we are. I got off the bus, get in Walmart, so now I'm at the, where you see all those cookies. So I got the Chips Ahoy version of it, of the um, Hershey that you're showing right now. So I got that one, and I don't remember what was the price. The second one I got was the uh, cheese it and the last one was the salad cream one for three fifty, which is not that bad. And yeah. Uh, I'm not spending for $11.60 instead. And now, after I did 
shopping at Walmart, it's time for me to go to Best Buy to pick up my wearable worldwide wired mic. And I did spend that for 80 bucks on Best Buy. So yeah, I'm going to walk down to Best Buy. That used to be the Steers until 2016. So I thought the bus was been running late, but unfortunately, got here already. So that was about four. And for I don't know why the driver wait until 1:35, knowing that about four is supposed to be by 1:30. So we're in about five minutes late, and we got to the downtown at 1:50, and we actually we're not gonna leave until two o'clock. So here we are, we are now leaving at 4 o'clock, which is a good timing now. And on my way to Dolbred, which is my home stop. So, yep, now I arrived at the Thoroughbred. And yeah, I don't know, yeah, that lady was about to get on the bus before I got out. So anyway, we did about there a minute late. Yeah, I made it late, which is not that bad. Didn't At least. So, okay, so I was thinking like the other driver that was on. Like, I don't know what's going on with the driver, but. So, yeah. So, I would say that. To me, I would say that driver is better than the other one. Like, if that driver could you have a kid yell, he would have dropped that big bus. But anyway, here we are. I'm at the road. Walking home. Now I arrived back to my house. Just chilling right now until I'm ready to go. So, before we head to Cincinnati, I decided to go to, decided to stop at the Olive Garden. And yeah, that was not a good shot. But anyway, I got my food and I had a feeling that I might regret finding you know, the appetizer and dessert. Instead, I should, should have just got the Parmesan chicken and the spaghetti. So anyway, so I did use one of my free coupons for the appetizer, and here we are now, we got the highway, on my way to Cincinnati, Ohio, Amtrak Station, and yes, it was a three-hour ride from Bowling Green, Kentucky, to Cincinnati, Ohio, like, I don't know, I don't know why there is no transportation that would take you from Bowling Green to either Louisville or Nashville, Atlanta, or Cincinnati, like, why there's no, why we're just gonna have Frank House stop serving Bowling Green, if Bowling Green is gonna be popular, like, like, if you're gonna stop using Grand House, then have Amtrak come to Bowling Green, they're gonna drop off people, so right before we head to Cincinnati, we are at the gas station at Vendor, Kentucky, which is like, close enough to Florence, and yes, here we are, I'm at Cincinnati Union Terminal, which you see that beautiful downtown Cincinnati. So yeah, that is it for my narrated stuff, and on to the intro. Hey everybody, I am Crash Bandicoot, and yes, it is 11 at night, Easter time zone, at the beautiful city of Cincinnati. If this could be focused already. Hold on. There we go. Now it's focused. This is Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, I'm at Cincinnati, Ohio. Right now, currently, the Amtrak train, uh, Amtrak station is not open until 12 a.m. And I feel like it's got to be 11.20 now. So, yeah. And the Amtrak Carnival train 
would not leave until 3.37 a.m. So yeah, right now I am, we have to wait at least at this lobby until it opens. So yeah, I'll go, yeah. So yeah. Uh, we did manage to reach up to 477 subscribers on our channel, well, on my channel, so which is good. Getting close to 500 subscribers, so yeah, and I'll meet you guys when I'm at maybe anywhere at the break stop, I guess. Sure, it's gotta be this one. If I remember the last time. This is where it says Cincinnati that she said. Well, here comes our train. And it is a P42. Well, we gotta, we gotta get very careful when we. You all have Yeah. Okay, alright. They're right here. for you right here. Crap. All right. Well, fortunately, it's a peep. Oh crap! This is the um, the newest version of it. This is a. It's like the same thing, like a the Siemens ALC forty two, but it's actual P forty two DC. Those two are the, those ones are the V-Liner 2s. Those already got replaced by the older version of the V-Liners. Okay, I'm on the train. Pretty sure we might not gonna leave until 3.37, which is the actual time that we'll be departing from Cincinnati. Oh, all right, we are now departing from Cincinnati a minute early. We are not leaving Cincinnati. Alright, well, we'll meet you guys tomorrow morning. Well, not tomorrow morning, but I might probably meet you guys when I'm at maybe Huntington or Charleston, maybe. Damn, so cold. Alright. So we're at Huntington, West Virginia. It's gotta be like 7 oh Sorry, it gotta be 710 right now. So I'll have her dulcel right over the or let me go in the grass. Over there's the P42 DC. It looks like the ALC 42, but it's not an ALC 42. They just wrapped up look like that, but look like new. So anyway. Yeah. Looks like the time, the, let's say, it's daylight saving is changing, going on, so yeah. This is Sunset in West Virginia. It's like a outside break, and yep, I'll meet you guys in some, probably DC or my next break. Charleston, I believe.
is the Amtrak bathroom. Here's a mirror. There's a the trash. Yeah, make sure you lock the door if you're going to use the bathroom, or otherwise you're not going to get a surprising thing. Well, y'all know. Well, hopefully y'all can hear me. Alderson, West Virginia. <laughs> We're just literally blocking the road. How funny is that? Anyway, this is Alderson. And unfortunately, nobody did anything. I don't think nobody did get an outfit off, but I don't see anybody. So I think the next step is White Sulphur Spring. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking White Sulphur Spring is the next stop. Okay, and someone going for this idiot. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, this state has got to be a Trump support Republican.
So I'm finally at Clifton Forge, Virginia. Looks like we are up off schedule. So we, could, we ended up taking a little break here. Get my leg stretch. So yeah. Clifton Forge, Virginia. Normally our next break stop is at Charlottesville. But due to the fact that we are above schedule, we'll be going ahead and take a break until we reach our time that we're supposed to depart. So yeah, I'll meet you guys when I'm at Charlottesville, maybe. And you have this P42 that looks like an ALC 42, but it's not an ALC, it's a P42 DC. But anyway, this is Charlottesville, well, no, not Charlottesville, Clifton Forge. Go ahead and head back to the train. All right, time to go back to the cafe for lunch. All right, time to head back to my seats. Got a burger and a cup of noodles for lunch. my lunch and we just already left Clifton Forge once I got my lunch so next up's got to be Stunton Virginia I got a cheeseburger cup of noodles and I just actually had my own Mountain Dew Baja Blast from Walmart a week ago Virginia. I'm at Stanton, Virginia. Again, we're still up off schedule. I had a feeling that they might gonna beat the freight train before we head to DC, which is our track our tracks. So yeah, we are at Stanton, Virginia. Our next stop stop should be um, Charlottesville, Virginia. So yeah. Here's a uh, Stanton area. So yeah, Stanton, Virginia. Going to get a fresh air break again. Our next one will be Charlottesville, which is a, should be our actual fresh air break. So yeah, I'll meet you guys when I'm at Charlottesville.
this is Charlottesville, Virginia, which is the other real rest area. Well, a break area. So right all the way there is the, um, the Academy bus that will take you all the way to Richmond to take you to the other train, which is the Northeast Regional to get to um, Newport News. And there's also a train connection here as well to the Crescent train to New Orleans and the Northeast Regional to Roanoke. So yeah, right now we're at Charlottesville taking a break here get some fresh air and then our next smoke well our next fresh air area oh crap and then our next fresh air area will be at Washington DC where we change locomotive from the elect diesel to electric so yeah this is Charlottesville and then I'll meet you guys when I'm at Washington DC Well, we, actually, we are departing from Charlottesville, Virginia. Next stop will be Culpeper, Virginia.
Manassas, Virginia. Or Manassas, Virginia. Washington DC but again, I don't know if y'all can see it better but it is dark outside so yeah sorry about the about the view because it's dark but anyway we're getting ready to pull into DC all right we are Washington DC Union Station and we are going to be having our locomotive switch from diesel to electric. Here's our diesel ones that I'll be switching. So yeah. Also, I said that looks like looks like a um, ALC 42, but it's actually a P42 DC. Here we are, unplugging the um, cables. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I don't get in the way. Line is this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're not doing good right now. If we get rid of the coach, if we get rid of the coach, then we should be fine. But right now, I won't blame you for that. Oh. Let me get out of this way. Oh. Yeah. Run it, Conan. Run it, Conan. 
back, you stand up here. And when it's coming back, yo, I follow it right back. Because we're going to change and put on an electric motor now. Yeah, that looks similar like the, the same in ALC 42, but I know this is not the ALC 42, it's the P42. Oh, we're getting our charger on the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah, also this is the one of the um, DSLR Express that goes up to 150 miles per hour. But I think this is, well, I'm not sure though. 30, 35 minutes away from Washington. Baltimore Police Department is approximately 30, 35 minutes away from Washington. Next station stop, Washington DC. Oh, so there is the, um the ALC 42.
William H. Gray III, 30th Street Station. I am just now, well, I actually been arrived at the train station. So now, I am now going ahead and head to the baggage area claim and get my uh, luggage and on my way to the outside of the 30th Street Station, Amtrak, Philadelphia. That is the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Well, yeah, that is concluded the end of the vlog video, ladies and gentlemen. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll meet you guys until my next vlog video.